we're on. Today is August 16th, 2014. This is Carol Garlow, and we're at the home of Wilma West at the Brook and Ross Common. And Wilma, if you would say into the recorder that this recording will belong to the Historical Society. This recording belongs to the Society. Perfect. Thank you very much. Okay. Well, we'll just talk a little bit about when you came to Roscommon and why you came here. Well, when Nova came back from the service, he had no job. So he got, he went to Mount Pleasant to a college and he got acquainted with George Clapp and he got him a job up here in the oil field. In the oil so field? We George Clapp, was that C L A P P? Pardon? How do you spell Clapp? Clapp, C L A P P. Oh, okay. That's what George I Clapp. Yeah. He lived out the lake and he was a boss at the Horner Field. And where was that? The Horner. Well, it's. Uh, West of Ross Common. Like out by Military Road? And then they have the St. Helen Field over at St. Helen. Okay. So when when you came here with the, with your husband's job, Sun Oil was well established? Yes. Mm-hmm. Like about what year was that? <sighs> You said after the war, and then he went to college. Yeah, I think it was 43. Seven. 47. We moved up here in 48. Dad commuted. Oh, from Mount Pleasant at first? Rosebush. Oh, Rosebush. Well, that's near Mount Pleasant, isn't it? Between yeah. Clare and Mount Pleasant. Oh, okay. North of... Yeah. Okay, well, so let's back up a little bit. Where were you born, Wilma? In Ohio, New Straitsville, Ohio. And when, what, tell us about what year and all, tell us your birthday and all that. That's where I went to school and graduated from. Noah and I went together the last two years of high school and and then we got married. So what year were you married? Thirty-seven. And you, did you stay in Ohio at that time then? Uh, for a short time, uh, Noah came to Michigan to work for his brother. His brother was in charge of Chartier Oil Company. And his brother put him to work. Where was that? Was that was that when you came to Rosebush? No, that was for him to go to college. Uh, I'm jumping ahead. His brother Harold lived in Rosebush. Oh, okay. So when I come up, I came up to, we rented a place at Clare and out in the country and lived out there for a few years. Then he got on for some oral, was a better job. Mm-hmm. So when did, when did he go into the service? In 38, wasn't it? So he was then before the war started? No, he was drafted. Oh, okay. He went overseas and he left in October and was overseas and was over there until discharge. He's in the Battle of Baltimore. So he was he was in the service quite a while then. Two years. 
two years. So he must not have gone in until 42 or 43. Mm -hmm. He was there in part of the cleanup. Oh, okay. And how, where were you at this time? Were you still in Rosebush? No, I wasn't well. And he took me back to my mother. Oh, okay. Dad. And uh, that's where we stayed until he got back. Oh, I imagine that happened in a number of families. You had to, I imagine during the war, a lot of families had to do that. Well, you couldn't live on soldiers. Hey. I imagine not. And then we had the three children. And yes, I was going to ask about that. So you already had three children when he went in the service? Yeah. Oh, my gosh. Can you imagine? Tom, Tom was about a year old. Mm-hmm. Is he the youngest? Yes. Mm-hmm. Okay. Marge is the middle one. That special girl, huh? Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so um, what do you remember about Ross Common when you came up here? Well, it was there was much more here than what there is now. They had a couple meat markets and Hosslings and McCutcheons and they had an AP store and party store, and there was just a lot more here at that time than there is now. A lot more choices, huh? Yeah. Yeah. Did you live right in the village? No, we came to the lake and rented a place. Oh. And we were out there, and I didn't like it. So we built there on Terrace Drive. Oh, who built and it for you? No, we did in the family. Well, you built it, the house yourself? Or your family built the house? You yeah. didn't have a builder, you built it? No. He built it? He built it himself. <coughs> Excuse me. Yeah, we had four bedrooms and basement. And nice. It's a nice home, isn't it? Mm hmm I bet you still miss it somewhat. Oh, yes. <laughs> I sure do. <laughs> sure. It's awful lonely here. Why, sure. People don't visit back and forth. Mm -hmm. And it's, I think it's hard to be a widow, period. So... So what were your um, um, things that you, you and Nova did when you lived here? Do you remember, did you have a church family? Did you have card playing friends or what, what kind of things? Yes, we, we uh, went to the Congregational Church and hmm. kids went to Sunday school. And I worked a lot with May Barber Oh, on the church dinners and things. Mm -hmm. it was there when they built a new church. We went out to uh, Core, where Core's at now. We went out there and held church and did our dinners out there and everything. You went out there and had church. You had church out there. Yep. In what building? In the log place. Oh, really? Yeah. Wow, I didn't. I never didn't know that. Well, that's interesting. Beautiful view from on top of that hill. Yeah. <laughs> Yes, we. So you've had these dinners for a, a not long time, huh? Oh yeah. We've yeah. Had them more than once a year. Oh really? Yeah. It's down to once a year now, but it sure is delicious. Now they just have the harvest dinner. Yeah. What kind of dinners did you have? All kinds. All kinds. Chicken and pork, and yeah. meatloaf, and really? Swiss steak. May had a restaurant in Roscommon. What, what was the name of the restaurant? I don't know what the name of it was. I just knew May Barber had it, and her husband was a 
uh, he cut hair. He worked with Ben Richardson. Oh, okay. Where was the, do you remember where the restaurant was? Um, there was a bit, they tore it down. There was a building there, was the mobile station and then the Ford garage. And it was in between there and they tore it down. Uh, mm -hmm. Marge worked there for, uh, that would be Shirley Larson's Oh, that family. was Chaps. Chaps. That rest, that's where the restaurant was, she says. Oh, okay, so May, did May Barber have it before the Chaps had it? If it's the same building? I, I, I don't remember. Mm -hmm. But May had it. And then Alan Frank had it. Alta Frank had a restaurant. Um, was that the Shell gas station on the corner? Uh, that uh, it became Pratt's it became on the other Pratt's. side of the counties. Yeah, there was just a long, narrow. Building. Building. Mm -hmm. hmm. And that's where I worked. For Mrs. Frank? Yes. They had Billy out there. There's Frank Bill. Yes. Frank? The one that washes windows? Yes. Oh, okay. I don't know him well, but I know who he is. Okay, so they had a restaurant in that building. Mm -hmm. So there were a lot of restaurants, weren't there? Mm -hmm. Yeah. When you came to Roscommon, um, you came in 47, you said? I think so. About that time. Yeah. Do you remember Baum's Cafe? Oh, yeah. Annie and Raleigh Baum. Do you remember who had that before they did? No. No, okay. Because they started, they bought it in 48. We're trying to find out who had it right before they did. <laughs> we haven't figured that out yet. But that's okay. There's always some mysteries. Um, the men that Nova worked with at Sun Oil, did they socialize together too? I mean, were they some of your friends? Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Can you tell us about some of the They who They, they were? had a lot of... Uh, Nova went to work on my birthday and... Uh, the next day was, uh, we went to Saginaw oh. for an outing for the Sun Roll Company. Oh, nice. Well, it was very nice. The kids got the rides and everything. But it was family. Uh-huh. Yes, yeah, Sun Oral, uh, 